Hey everyone, Sun Tinder Guy here, bringing you back another video of Pikmin. In the last episode, we landed on a mysterious unknown world filled with vegetation, life, and unknown strange things that kind of look familiar. I wonder what it is. In today's episode, we'll be Straight up, we're going back to Nams. Can we? You really have no reason at all to ever come back to the impact site. For like, well, depending on how well you're, how good are you at this game. Also, another thing is, before I do anything, I'm going to show you all this. Do you remember what I mentioned in the last video? How you probably heard a bunch of background noises? Well, I took care of that. So this, um, these little holes right here are what I mean by the Wii Remote producing those kind of noises. So that is completely turned down. You won't have to deal with those noises again. So, we're going to go to the second world. A well-known world throughout Nintendo history. Known as the Forest of Hope. I'm gonna be quiet for a bit. Well, never mind, I gotta do this. My dolphin has returned to the surface along with the Pik Pikmin Onion being alone on, the th on this strange planet. It makes me somewhat uneasy, so I shall call the Pikmin out of the Onion. All I need to do is stand in the light beneath the Onion and press A. And now to be quiet for a bit. Well, I hope you all enjoy that music. So, we have our first little thing right there. I'm just gonna pause this so that the sun, that meter up there, we'll get to in a few moments. So right now, as you kind of see what the Pikmin are doing, they're taking down a large wall. There are, let's see, I believe four different types of walls. You've got your normal gray, dark, Actually, wait, let me try again. You have your gray breakable wall, the dark gray breakable wall, which we'll get to eventually. And we'll have another time for the other two walls. So with these two picking right here, I'm gonna have them pluck the grass. <laughs> ah! Another intriguing discovery. A local variety of grass produces a sort of yellow nectar. When this within the Pikmin drinking this delicacy, they instantly mature into flowers. This apart apparent Pikmin free favorite seems to be full of nutrition. Closer representation is needed to determine the strength and peculiars of these flower Pikmin. So I guess now we can't really Oh, never mind. We can now do something. So we're going to let those two Pikmin play around the grass. And here we have our first enemy. We have Dwarf Bulborbs. And if you can hit them on top of their 
bags without need of the charge, it will instantly kill them. But of course I failed miserably with the second one. I'm gonna try to save up on some of these cause we're gonna be seeing our Pikmin type soon. Oh, I can go underneath those flowers the whole time. I wish I knew that earlier. Of course, now you can pretty much see that he won't be hearing that. Nah, I don't want you to, to do that one. Actually, what? I don't want them to carry it, though. Nah, you're not carrying it. Got some more Twerple Borbs. Quick, my Pikmin, attack! Not even you could stand a chance against the might of my Pikmin. I'm gonna have them carry the big red one back. Oh, hey there. Crap, I forgot his name. Why, it's the Eternal Few Dynamo. It has an unlimited energy supply. I won't have to worry about saving electricity anymore. This will make my f my flight for survival a bit easier. Now, if only we can have that stuff in real life. Wow, I went far. Dang it! So what? So straight up, our objective today is to get as basically, well, basically our objective is to get all thirty ship parts within 30 days. That is our objective. What the? I don't know why you decided to stop plucking Olimar. And yes, that is his name. His name is Olimar. Of course, we just saw his name throughout the first part of the video. I'm curious if the clicking noises, like even though you couldn't hear the plucking noise that the Wii Remote makes, I'm wondering if it's still, if you can all still hear it. Oh, we have another new enemy. These are bull borbs. Now you might be thinking to yourself, are these the adult size of those dwarf bull borbs over there? Um, no. These are different species. First off, we're gonna bum rush him. Rush him in his body bomb. Hopefully no one died. Okay, good. Yeah, for whatever reason, during... From what I heard from Sugar Conroy, that enemies, if they fall on top of Pikmin, it will cause them to fall through the map. See how many. It sh this should light things up. No more candles for me. Now let's see how many. I need 40. Can have my Pikmin take care of this. Gonna have them take back the red pellets. Of course, as you see here, there's three types of pellets. Uh, of course, there's now yellow. So I wonder what that hints at. Come on. Come on, you slow little pigs. Gonna have them destroy that breakable gray wall. And why the heck are you two up there? Get over here. Uh, let's see, we got... Oh, my flowers are also over here. I'm gonna pause this again. Uh, they do explain it, but that's only on... S if that game decides to do it. Um, There are three types of... Uh, how do I properly explain this? Um, there, uh, here we go. There are three types of stages of Pikmin. Leaf, bud, flower. Flower Pikmin are what you're going to need. 
They are gonna speed everything up. Well, that's about all I know of. And I'm gonna knock... Gonna knock that one down. Gonna call you over. Come on. Upsy daisies. Uh, pretty much my goal is to right now is to at least get I want to say to get two well, hopefully two of my missing pieces of my ship. But first off, I want to get the yellow Pikmin. Which, as you can kind of see from right about there, you can see another onion. Oh, wow. Thank you for the spoilers. Now there's a blue pellet. Ah, here we go. My clock has indicated that coming up new. From now on, I must pay close attention to the sun meter on my monitor and choose my actions accordingly so it is best for me to review my monitor's data. Access the top of my monitor are the sun meter and day display. At the bottom are my spacesuit, damage meter, and Pikmin gauges. From the left, these numbers reflect Pikmin under my command. Pikmin in the field and total Pikmin including those in Onion. To adjust my monitor, I can press Z to rotate the camera left or right on the D-pad. To, to zoom in up on the D-pad to change the viewpoint. I can also press plus to view a detailed computer analysis. So basically, like when I was pausing a bit earlier, yeah, basically like that. Now, rush him in his spotty ball. Yeah, look how useful that is. The color is different, but it seems to be a Pikmin nonetheless. First glance suggests this one has what in some circles should could be con considered very large ears. It looks like it may weigh less than the others. In what other ways might be might might it be different from the red Pikmin? I must be sure to observe it closely. I can hold a Pikmin for a moment, then with A, then swipe it for another by pressing B. So basically, kind of like this. I hold this and then voila. So, today I'm gonna... Well, first off, let me get this. This right here. Man, I need to get my reds all flowered up. Okay, you one red Pikmin, you can join me. Just to be abandoned. Got three yellowers. I don't want that. Okay, I wanted one of you to do that, so that wasted a bit of my time. Whoops. Nope. Come over here. And we have our first, well actually second, piece of machinery. Or missing ship piece. Eternal Fuel Domino. This should light things up. No more candles for me. I have now recovered two out of three parts. If I can find just three more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Also, another thing about the yellow Pikmin, 
No, I don't want that. I'm gonna need three. Really? I wanted the bull. The dwarf bull board. Also, you see those little rocks here? Moo! Moo! The yellow pigmen have picked up some particular stones. Why did they decide to grab them? This action seems to be insertive to the yellow pigmen, but these are. But just what are these strange glowing stones? Brightly glowing cracks cover them. Perhaps these. Cracked indicate that their tremendous power walked away within this, within this, merit this, merits further research. Okay, come on, there was. Okay, good. Nah, I see you. That should be enough. So, what are these? You may ask. Well, I'm gonna throw two. Come on. The glowing rocks. The yellow Pikmin picked up seem to seem to be explosive stones. Perhaps they know that these stones can be used as powerful weapons. The bomb rocks are dangerous, so I must take care when using them. But they should be able to blast open the stone walls that block the pathways. I even may be able to use them against some of the wild creatures. I must be vigilant. When I throw bomb rocks carrying Pikmin and give them orders, they will toss their bomb rocks at nearby walls or up obstacles. The explosive power of the bomb rocks is tremendous, so I must keep my distance. So basically, yeah, they're basically the best way to... Well, eh, you just saw it right there, folks. I'm gonna throw... get rid of the other two bomb rocks. Call back all my get my pigment here. Get some more yellers. I need to hurry up because I'm we're about to approach the end of the day. And stop wasting time. There's also that honey over there that I Yellow grab it. Like I said, I want to at least grab two, the best I can, grab at least two missing ship parts. Technically, you can actually possibly get three, but I wasted so much time bringing up the numbers and getting up to the Yelp Pikmin. So I need to plan on Oh hey, what needs to be what needs to be gone first? Let's see. Do I have the amount Pikmin? Crap. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. I need to make sure I have You know what? Yeah, we're not gonna get that ship part. So we're just gonna raise up our yellow numbers. We're gonna get as many yellers in the ground as possibly as we can. And then tomorrow we'll get our get more ship parts. But remember, we only have a total of 30 days. This is day 29. Also, it'll be really stupid if I just wasted the corpses. I'm also, um... You don't have to worry about your yellow Pikmin during the first time you see them. 
They will instantly be brought back to your onion. My clock is indicating the approach of sunset. Pikmin waiting beneath the dolphin and onion will probably enter the onion on their own. But if I cannot call the stragglers and add them to my group, they may not be able to get back. I am sure that the Pikmin sh still planted are safe. But I am somewhat concerned about leaving Pikmin to fend for themselves in the darkness. What a caring person you are, Olimar. Okay, so you see all that honey right there? Yeah, I'm not going to waste my uh, chances here. Drink it all. Get any amount... Well, that was a small amount of Pikmin right there. And... Get up. I saw you, Trip. We'll call you Trip. Yeah, that little flower right there, we'll call him Trip. Come on. Go on. Pretty please. I have made yet another Pikmin related discovery. Just when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field, the onion stopped ex expelling seeds. Yet the total number of Pikmin continues to climb. It seems that once there are 100 Pikmin in the field, so Subsequent seeds get stored inside the onion. Thus, no more than 100 Pikmin can be in the field at, at one time in any area. Well, ain't that obvious. Okay, let's see. Am I missing any other Pikmin? Well, I wasted some... Well, I wasted all that, that's for sure. And there's my little yellow... <clears throat> that one Pikmin just caught up. So basically, um, you can only have a total of 100 Pikmin on the field. You cannot have any more after getting up to 100. Aha, no snacking for you. Two days since impact. It appears that many of my ship parts have landed on this region. If I can just recover the parts of my of my radar, I should be able to use my radar screen. How that will improve my chances, then I'll only have to press plus to locate my parts. Yet there seems to be many hostile life forms here. If I am if I am attacked and my spacesuit takes damage, I must return to my ship, stand front and press A to make suit repairs. As I explore, I must pay attention to my suit's da damage meter in the bottom left corner of the screen. Huh. 83 Pikmin sprouted today. That's a good, good amount. My yellows and my reds have given a good amount of increased. Parts remaining 28. Days remaining 28. I need to do a better job. And here we are, back up here in the Forest of Hope. I mean, uh, the world, the the main hub world, or the world's map selection. So, this will be it for today's. <coughs> excuse me. This will be it for today's video. So next time on Pikmin, Pikmin, we'll be going back to the Forest of Hope, collecting more more ship parts, and raising up my numbers a bit more. If you enjoyed today's video, please share, like, subscribe if you want to. Make sure to always wear your face mask. Stay socially, I mean, get vaccinated the best you can and stay socially distanced. And I'll see you all later for more Pikmin. See ya. I mean, peace.